Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Missing Warren Allen Presley, November 21st, 1999 from Kennesaw, Georgia. 52 years old. Estimated height is 6 foot 5 to 6 foot 8. Um, he's been missing and his whereabouts unknown to his family since November 21st, 1999. I mean, yeah, he he planned on spending the night at the Riverview Hotel on St. Mary's Island, Georgia. Although there was a reservation for him at the hotel, he didn't arrive. The police searched the area. They couldn't find anything. His 1999 Chrysler Sebring was located at the St. Andrews picnic area on the south end of Jekyll Island after his family received a letter from where... Jekyll Island. Let's see where that is. After his family received a letter from Warren directing them to the location of the abandoned vehicle with instructions to retrieve two large boxes and one small box from the trunk of the car. The family was instructed not to open the boxes but return them to a friend stating that the contents belonging to said friend. A private investigator was hired to help locate Warren but both the investigator and the police were unsuccessful. In their efforts to locate Warren, Warren was legally declared dead through the death of ab absentia laws in 2004. Sandy colored hair, uh, full brown eyes, eyeglasses, no photo, no photo, not even a child photo. Okay, I want to see where that other island is, if I can add that. Oh... Can I add one? I don't know how to add one. Okay, there's this island that he was going to stay at. There's this island where John Doe was found. And there's this island where his vehicle was found. That's creepy. Because there's the one John Doe. And when I went to search for him, I couldn't find any John Doe's that fit his description. But I remember there's this one unidentified male. Here's a picture of what he might have looked like. And there was somebody else I thought might be him. But there's this person too. Um, found July 20th, 2001, Cumberland Island, Georgia. Estimated year of death, 1950 to 2001. Skull found washed up on shore in Cumberland Island, Georgia. Washed up on shore. That would be downstream. Um, so there's a possibility, right? Camden County. <sighs> Unknown hair, completely bald. They don't know what color the hair or what it looked like. I don't know how they did that uh, thing because I don't even know. Oh, yeah, they had the skull, so they could do that. I don't know what the color of the hair is. I don't know how they did this. Um, then there's some other John Doe's. There's one in Erlanger, Kentucky. Found, 19, found um, 2003. Estimated height 6 foot 2. Then we have one found in Nashville, Tennessee. Estimated height 5 foot 9 to 6 foot 3. Uh, this person was found with a backpack. Estimated age 40 to... 55 years old, found behind a dumpster, clothed, near complete or complete skeleton, straight reddish-brown hair. It talks about what they were wearing. You can pause that and read it if you like. And then we have the other one, found in Nashville, Tennessee. The remains were found down an embankment in the woods near a fence. They got GPS coordinates. Um, time since death was difficult to determine, but probably one or more years prior to discovery in 2004. Black jeans, hunter green thermal. So, I don't know if this John Doe could be him, because like I said, there was somebody else that I had looked at that I thought it might be. But then I, I just, when I went looking for John Doe's that could be him, I remembered that there was a John Doe found right near where he went missing. So there is that possibility that I don't know if it could be him or not. So if you have any information about what might have happened to him, please contact authorities and let them know. Let them decide what's relevant, what's important. 
And if you have any information about who these John Does might be, please contact authorities with that information as well. Don't forget to pray for his family and his loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.